I told you we'd be late. You had to eat two desserts. But Amos, you know how I love Cherry's Jubilee. Besides, your cousin won't be angry. He's not my cousin, he's my uncle, and he comes from Dublin, Ireland. I haven't seen him since I was a little boy. Amos, you were never a little boy, were you? Patience, don't. Well, don't, Patience. He's glad to see us. Reserved old gentleman, we shouldn't. The word's square. Amos Burke, you young rascal. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Amos, me boy. Well, aren't you going to introduce me to the fair Colleen? Square, huh? Uh, Patient Stevens, this is my uncle Patrick Harrigan. Oh, not a wee bit Irish, but as cute as a button. I wish I were a few years younger. You're not nearly as old as Amos mentioned. Why, I expected an antique. Uncle Patrick, you must be very tired. Let's get to the car. Did you say bar me by? Me whistle is yearning for a cup of coffee. Irish, of course. Of course. The bar isn't far. Oh, that's my kind of a jingle. Come, dear. <laughs> come, 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 come. Amos, me by, the last time I saw you, you were knee high to a grasshopper. Now you're a fine-looking lad with a beautiful car and a great taste in women. I understand that you have very beautiful women in Ireland, Uncle Pat. Oh, nothing as fine and fair as you, me darling. <laughs> How long do you plan to stay? You know, there was once this very old leprechaun. <laughs> oh, he was very young at heart. As a matter of fact, I was very admirable. Oh, excuse me, Uncle Patrick. I have a phone <laughs> call. And one day he coming out of the fog, you know. So he... <laughs> <laughs> Captain Burke's residence. Oh, this. Where? The concert center. All right, I'll be right there. No less, you haven't interrupted a thing. I know it's most unusual. All right, Henry, let's go. Oh, uh, patience, I'm sorry, but... You know, there's this murder, and we tell you the finish of the story. <laughs> Uncle Patrick, I know it's rude of me to leave. <laughs> I will tell you both. Oh, to be loved by someone. I love you, boss. Not now, Henry. <laughs> Supposed to be driving Uncle Patrick. I'd like some more champagne. <laughs> Looking into your eyes is like once again looking into the beautiful blue waters of the River Shannon. I feel like a young lad again, bursting with pride. Really, Pat? That's beautiful. Amos never says lovely things like that. That's because he's just a young pup. It takes age to speak with mellowness. Now, now close your eyes. Raise your glass. Make a wish. Take a sip. Now throw your glass to the floor. Didn't I see the two of you in an Errol Flynn picture on the Very Late Show? Oh, welcome home, eh, missed. We missed you, we missed you. Well, that's obvious. Anybody got a bone for a tired police puppy? Oh, we decided to stay home for a casual meal and a bit of champagne. Now, don't make any more wishes. I only have five dozen glasses. He's always joking. <laughs> Oh, Amos, can't you be serious, you young rascal, you? I intend to immediately. What are you going to do? Some serious sleeping. Good night. Hey, let's wait. Oh, you're jealous. I am not. You are too, silly. Don't you realize that I love Uncle Pat like... Like Uncle Wiggily? Exactly. 
But with us, it's different. Like how? Like this. Irish. <laughs>